Hello, my name is Barbara Williams and I am a five-year cancer survivor. I'm here to talk to you today about how we can beat cancer and it does not have to be a death sentence. So this campaign is to give you the awareness that people do make it through. It's not a death sentence. But I do remember when I walked into my doctor's office and he looked at my results and just said, you have breast cancer. The words just took the breath out of me. But when I looked around, I saw family members looking at me and I could see their support in their eyes. Ever since that day, I have received support. And again today, I'm getting support from people who recognize that we need to have an awareness of what's going on and how we can beat it. Get all the information you need from the American Cancer Society, from Susan G. Coleman, and from City of Hope. So let's learn what we need to do to get this job done. Let's beat cancer, because with the right cancer team, and all the family members and friends around you, and God on your side, we can get this done. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to thank you so much for being a part of this, uh, this campaign. I just appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you using your gifts and your talent and our friendship to help me with this. This is very close to my heart, and I know it's close to mm -hmm. your heart. Mm -hmm. And I know together mm -hmm. we can beat cancer. We can. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And I think you're doing, like what you're doing is extremely, extremely necessary. And I said it earlier. I pray that um, my vocal contribution was delivered properly <laughs> and to execute but I know we need people to hear and to heal and to fight. So Absolutely. Th thanks for asking me to even be a part of it. So thank because you. Because we won't give up the fight. We can't give up the That's fight. Right. <laughs> yes. Use our gifts to do whatever we got to do, right? Absolutely. And yeah. we're going to keep pushing and keep moving. Yeah. And, and one day we'll get that news yeah. that we have a cure for cancer, not just one I think we're close. Cancer. I think we're close. I think we are. If, if, if it's not, it's there and they're perfecting it. Absolutely. I'm speaking it. Yes. I'm over it. Uh -huh. I'll receive it. <laughs> I'm with you. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yes. Hi, I'm Arthur Thompson. Whew. And I am here with the legendary Dave Cobbs. And we're here and uh, doing the We Can Beat Cancer project. We're here in the studio. You just laid down some killer saxophone. I was inspired. Oh, man. Inspired by you, as always. <laughs> I appreciate you. I and, love uh, you so much, and I appreciate and I, you. I man. love you too, buddy. And what an amazing project that you're doing and putting together. Thank and you. And it comes from such a pure, authentic place. And I think that all the musicians and artists and singers that have come together to share in the project with you come from the same place because we've all been touched in, in our own way uh, by cancer yes. and uh, its devastating effects on, on uh, families and, and loved ones and uh, my mom uh, was someone we lost to cancer and uh. so it's touched my, my life directly and uh, I know your, your family very well yes. and we have a lot of friends in common that have been touched by specifically breast cancer mm -hmm. so bravo to you and to all the musicians who are coming together uh, and we can we can beat cancer we can beat we cancer. can do it we can do yeah, it together we're gonna do it all right thank you thank you too buddy my pleasure <laughs>
She gets up early in the morning, prepares the children for school. Two cups of coffee in hand for her and a man, off to the work land. Same thing, same time, only family and mine. Feeling proud as she kisses goodbye. Person keys in her hand, self check mammogram as she waves goodbye to her man. Very aggressive treatments, very long recovery process. And today, two years later, I am healed. Listen as she sings a song, and the people in the place are singing along. She looks good with grace on the stage, living her life in the zone. Not a care in the world while the music swirls, but what lurks inside of her. Later that night, feeling something ain't right as I lay down beside her. Care who it meets, the bubonic plague of our time. Yeah. It puts doubt in our future, doubt in our scripture. So the devil blows, blows my mind. mind. Uh -huh. Teachers, executives, PhD scholars, countless lives, countless, countless names. names. Yeah. The survivors will forever be changed. Hey. Shattered, depressed, and maimed. and remember that your language matters. Speak life over your situation. Tell that mountain to move. Remember that your language can and will make the difference. You're already healed. You just have to go through the process.